in our previous lesson we have already discussed about how clouds are formed in nature clouds are formed when the humidity of the air is very high such that air cannot hold water any more in vapor state and the water droplets condense around the dust particles thereby leading to the formation of clouds we also learned about the definition of clouds clouds are masses of tiny water droplets or ice crystals that float in air now i also mentioned that clouds are of different shapes and forms in today's video we will discuss about different types of clouds look at this dark dense clouds they usually indicate unpleasant weather isn't it these clouds bring heavy rainfall or torrential rainfall and also cause thunderstorms these clouds are situated or lie very close to the earth's surface they extend to a height of 2 km from the earth's surface now this dark dense clouds that are associated with heavy rainfall are called nimbus clouds now these clouds are called so because nimbus in latin means rain storm and hence these dark dense clouds that are associated with heavy rainfall are called nimbus clouds nimbus clouds as i just mentioned are located very close to the earth's surface see here we have short detached hair like clouds these clouds appear like magical wisps and they also resemble tufts of hair now these clouds are associated with or indicate pleasant weather now these clouds are located at an altitude they extend from 5 to 13 km from the earth's surface now these hair like clouds that usually indicate pleasant weather are called cirrus clouds now cirrus in latin means curl that is a curl of hair so since these clouds look like a curl of hair or because they have hair like appearance so these clouds are also known as cirrus clouds now cirrus clouds as i just mentioned are located at some altitude now these clouds look like a cauliflower isn't it yes these clouds have flat base and a spherical top also these clouds look like cotton balls isn't it so these fluffy heaps of cloud with a cotton like appearance often pop up on bright sunny days and these clouds also indicate fair weather now these clouds extend to a height of 2 km from the earth's surface now these clouds are known as cumulus clouds so cumulus clouds are clouds that look like a cotton and they are very fluffy also when you see cumulus clouds you know that the weather is going to be pleasant because these clouds usually appear on bright sunny days now not all clouds bring heavy rainfall for instance look at these clouds these clouds might bring little rainfall or light drizzle now these clouds are horizontally led 
also these clouds have greyish tinge see these clouds are having greyish tinge now just like nimbus clouds these clouds also lie very close to the earth's surface and they extend to a height of 2 km from the earth's surface now these horizontal lead clouds that bring little rainfall are known as stratus clouds now the word stratus means stratified or lead so because these clouds have horizontal leads so these clouds are known as stratus clouds and stratus clouds lie very close to the earth surface also these clouds bring little rainfall or drizzle now before we proceed with our lesson let us try to answer this question which one of the following statements define stratus clouds is it horizontal lead clouds that bring little rainfall fluffy heaps of clouds that appear on bright sunny days or hair like clouds that indicate pleasant weather or dark dense clouds that bring heavy rainfall well the correct answer is horizontal lead clouds that bring little rainfall are known as stratus clouds so the first option is correct so now let us continue with our lesson till now we have discussed about clouds based on shapes and how they look like based on shape cloud can be classified as nimbus stratus cirrus and cumulus now we also know that all the weather phenomena like cloud formation fog rainfall etc occur in the lowest layer of atmosphere that is troposphere now troposphere extends at an average altitude of 16 km above the earth's surface now cloud formation takes place within this zone now as we just discuss some clouds lie very close to the earth surface while some clouds are found at substantial height so now we will classify clouds based on their height there are some clouds that are formed very close to the ground or very close to the earth surface they usually lie below 6500 feet now some examples of these clouds that usually lie very close to the earth surface can be stratus clouds and cumulus clouds see this horizontal lead clouds are stratus clouds and these clouds that looks like heaps of cotton are cumulus clouds and both these clouds are formed very close to the earth's surface now these clouds that are formed very close to the earth's surface are called low clouds low clouds are usually formed below 6500 feet now if we refer to this diagram and take this altitude as 6500 feet then low clouds will be formed below this altitude so low clouds lie very close to the ground or very close to the earth's surface and some examples of low clouds are cumulus clouds and stratus clouds now there are some clouds that are formed in the middle level of troposphere that is within 6000 feet to 2000 feet now these clouds are no different but a prefix is usually added to these clouds and the prefix is alto 
Now some types of these clouds can be alto stratus clouds and alto cumulus clouds. Now these clouds that are formed within an altitude of 6000 feet to 20,000 feet are known as middle clouds. Some example of middle clouds are alto stratus and alto cumulus. So if we refer to this picture then these clouds are formed within this zone that is in the middle level of the troposphere. Now some clouds are formed at higher altitudes that is at substantial height. They are usually formed above 20,000 feet. Now how to name these clouds? While naming these clouds a prefix sorrow is added before the names of these clouds just like Cyrus, Sorocumulus and Sorostatus. Now these clouds that are formed above 2000 feet are known as high clouds or high altitude clouds. These clouds usually lie above 20,000 feet and some types of high clouds are cirrus clouds, cirrocumulus clouds, cirrostratus clouds and high clouds are usually formed at substantial heights. Now if we summarize the types of clouds based on heights then low clouds as we just read are formed below 6000 feet. So here low clouds will be formed. In the middle zone that is from 6000 to 20,000 feet middle clouds are formed while high clouds are formed above 20,000 feet. Now low clouds contain water droplets or sometimes ice crystals while high clouds are mostly composed of super cool ice crystals. This is because we know temperature decreases with increase in altitude and due to this reason high clouds are mostly composed of super cooled ice crystals. So these are the different types of clouds based on height. So in today's video we read about different types of clouds based on shape and appearance and based on height or altitude. Based on shape or appearance, clouds can be classified as nimbus clouds, cirrus clouds, cumulus clouds and stratus clouds. On the other hand, based on height, clouds can be classified as low clouds, middle clouds and high clouds. Now, Cumulus and stratus clouds are formed throughout the entire height of troposphere that is they can be low clouds, middle clouds and high clouds. If they are middle clouds then a prefix alto is added before their name and if they are high clouds then a prefix zero is added before them that is either they are known as alto cumulus or alto status if they are middle clouds and they are known as zero cumulus and zero status if they are high clouds. Now nimbus clouds are also low clouds because while defining the characteristics of nimbus clouds I mentioned that they extend up to a height of 2 km above the earth's surface or they lie very close to the earth's surface. So nimbus clouds can also be low clouds. Now 
cirrus clouds are high clouds as they are formed at an altitude so these are the different types of clouds based on shape and based on height so in today's video we read about one form of condensation that is clouds in our next video we will learn about other forms of condensation like dew fog frost etc don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus master each topic with our adaptive practice technology get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests get all your doubt resolved instantly learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now